a decent imam or a religious leader has to exegete the culture, exegete from exegesis, which is basically tafsir, right? You have to explain and account for and make sense of what people are going through. This is something that I picked up from a, a book about sermons and how to write sermons and what's the theory, what are the objectives that you're trying to accomplish when you get up on the mimbar every Friday and talk to people, right? You don't just focus on what you put out, you know, how to do wudu, and I'm not trying to belittle those things, they're important, but, you know, people come to the masjid and they're going through stuff, you know, they're going through stuff. Somebody said something to them during the week, or somebody might be slandering them, or somebody might be, you know, treacherous towards them, or, you know, they have, they're going through it with their kids, or they're going through it with their spouse, or they're going through it at their job, or, you know, and they are hungry for how to make sense of it from the perspective of Islam, or how Islam is going to make sense of those things. What should they be focusing on? What should they not focus on? What should they put their work into? How should they respond, right? All these sorts of things. How do they make sense of it in their lives? Is this something that's like a punishment from Allah, or is this an opportunity for them to, to, uh, to get right and to repent? What's going on, right? And the religious leader has to be able to help people make sense of what's going on in their lives in light of the the Quran, in light of the Sunnah, in light of the things, uh, the guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent us. And that's how things stay relevant, right? People might get it mixed up. They might think that Islam being relevant has to do with like, you know, changing things in the masjid or, you know, just doing things that are going to like very superficial appeal to like youth and youth culture and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have to be like that, right? We don't need to do what the Christians did, which is like turn our worship service into like a concert. That's basically what the Christians did. You don't have to do that to stay relevant. What you have to do is you have to reach into your text and reach into your guidance from Allah, and you have to make sense of what people are going through. And if you're able to do that, then people are going to keep coming.